everybody, my name is Jordan Sparks and this is a Gapminder tutorial. Let's start out with by discussing what is Gapminder. Gapminder is a comprehensive information graphic to understand trends throughout time. Gapminder describes itself as an independent Swedish foundation with no political, religious, or economic affiliations. Gapminder is a fact tank, not a think tank. Gapminder fights devastating misconceptions about global development. Gapminder produces free teaching resources making the world understandable based on reliable statistics. Gapminder promotes a fact-based worldview everybody can understand. Hans Rosling created the idea for the visualization after encountering, after encountering a broad ignorance about the rapid health improvement in Asia. This led to the chimpanzee test. The chimpanzee test was a study that Hans Rosling did where he found that chimpanzees were more likely to guess the correct answer of a multiple choice question if answers were placed on bananas than if humans were to actually take that multiple choice test with their own knowledge. The chimpanzees had a better statistics to guess the correct answer than the humans did. After the chimpanzee test, Hans knew that there was something he needed to do to further push through the ignorance in statistics. This led to the creation of the Gapminder software, Trendalyzer. Trendalyzer was formulated also with his son, Ola. You can try taking the chimpanzee test online at gapminder.org to see if you are also part of the ignorance in statistics. Moving forward, this is the Gapminder bubbles graph. What you can see here is that there are three axes, the Y, X, and the Z. All three have different variables which are presented in different ways. On the right hand side, you can see a legend for the countries in which all the bubbles are related to the color of region throughout the world. North and South America are in green, Africa is in blue, Europe and Russia in yellow, and Asia and Australia in red. You can select or deselect countries to choose to follow in the trend by selecting the, the checkbox on the right hand side of the screen. If you're searching for a specific country, you can also t start typing in the search bar to select the country by name. You can use the play and pause function on the lower left hand part of the screen. The slide bar will also show or you can select a specific year while the visualization is in play. The speed indicator will slow up or slow down, will speed up or slow down the visualization and the map options will zoom in and select and also be able to present the graph that is in motion. You can use the graph sharing and language capabilities on the upper right hand portion of the screen to where you can show the graph via Twitter, Facebook, or even copy the HTML link into a website. You can change the language and also the most important part arguably is the sources. If you click on the question marks you will get a hyperlink pop up to where you can go to the Excel data to manipulate it yourself. Moving forward, let's go into the actual tutorial. We will start out with by looking at the bubbles in each of the region. You can see here that in green are North and South America blinking, Africa is blinking blue, Europe and Russia is blinking in yellow, and Asia and Australia is blinking in red. All of the bubbles are based on income, life expectancy, and population. We're going to be looking at the United States, Russia, and Nigeria. So let's select those. You can see that they are selected on the right hand portion of the screen. The slide bar by deselect will either make darker or more transparent the other countries that are around. We'll keep it in the middle so we can see where these are in relation to all the countries in the world. By pressing play you can see the Trendalyzer software in, in motion. In the lower left hand part of the screen you can see that there are different variables that are being traced 
by a trail. If you deselect trails, you can see the United States, Russia, and Nigeria moving freely with the other countries. You can pause or press play again to pause or pl play the function. You can slow down or speed up by the speed indicator on the lower right hand part of the screen. We are now going to zoom in on a specific area of the graph by selecting the magnifying glass. We can see other countries in relation to Russia and the United States. By clicking 100% it takes you back to a full map view. After the visualization is done, you can press deselect to see all of the countries in bubbles once again. You can change the bubbles in the z-axis by changing it to different variables, which will change how the bubbles are in relation to the y and x-axis. The y and x-axis both have the same variables where we can see here literacy rate for adults total and find the same variable for literacy rate in adults total on the y-axis. By clicking the question mark, you can go to more info and source for the Excel data sheets to analyze that data. By the share functions on the upper right hand portion, you can see Twitter, Facebook, or language changes if necessary. By clicking on bubbles, you can change the map view to be income, maps, trends, ranks, or ages. We'll now analyze the different map views that are new to the Gapminder software. The five new graph types, again, are income, maps, trends, ranks, and ages, and on the actual graph itself, you will see them right below if you are on the website. All five graph types relate to the same basic functions of Gapminder in different ways. Income tracks the population of the country throughout time in relation to how much money people make per day. You can select a specific country to follow just like the Gapminder bubbles function. Here I have selected China. You can see that it is a bell curve. And outlined in the dotted line in gray, you can see where extreme poverty lies. The map function shows a world map view of Gapminder bubbles which grow with each country's population throughout time. When clicking on a bubble, it displays the country's population of that specific year. Here we have selected India with a size of 1.35 billion individuals. Trends, you can track the trend in a linear format similar to the Gapminder World's bubble visualization, but with two variables instead of three. The bubble visualization is a logarithmic view. You are able to click through and compare specific countries throughout the time based on specific variables on the y-axis. Here we have selected the United States, Russia, China, and Nigeria in relation to income per person. Ranks, you can look at the countries throughout the world based on specific variables and how they rank to all the other countries. You can change the variable or select a certain region to highlight specifically. Here we can see that Qatar, Luxembourg, and Singapore are the highest three in relation to income per person. Ages will show you how many people in the world are currently alive at a specific age. Currently, the top numbers go from ages 0 to 3, all being tied at 137 million people each. You can also download all of the Gapminder tools offline to use. Gapminder uses the same software. If you go to gapminder.org slash tools dash offline, you can download this version specific to your actual computer. Both all three of the Windows, Mac, and Linux are all free of cost. What is the importance of Gapminder is to track trends throughout time. This um, helps us
distribute global data for better understanding with the whole entire world. Gapminder also aims to negate the ignorance and statistics that Hans Rosling acknowledged with the chimpanzee test. By making the data free for everybody, it negates the ignorance and statistics. And how does this specifically help policy? By being able to track trends through, throughout time, policy analysts are able to hone in to specific issues to see if there has been change over time in a positive or negative way. Once articulating if a change over time has been negative, positive, or the same, the analyst can create policy agendas to change policy to improve the issue at hand. Thank you all so much, and for further information, please visit Gapminder.org.